Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Libra, this is a love message. This is a love reading for you, Libra. I hope you are doing well. See, I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for this reading for today, Libra, this is a love reading. This is a love message for you. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is a love reading. This is a love message for the Libra sign, okay? This reading for today, this is valid for the next 30 days. If I will be able to pick up a message um, outside of the 30 days, I will let you know. This is for the sign of Libra, please. This is a guided love message for you. Let me just move my... Okay, sorry guys. I'm trying not to... Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oopsie. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, I don't want to fiddle with it anymore. Okay, let's start the reading, Libra. You have... Oh, Five of Cups. Why? So you have the Five of Cups. Ouch. This is the Three of Swords. Okay. They regret it. Okay. This is definitely like a past relationship or connection. So you could be dealing with an Aries or there was something. Okay. Let me just pull all of the cards. Woo. The Six of Wands. Oh, they're very committed. Okay. Six of Wands. Okay. So, during the full moon, okay, after, after the full moon in Aquarius, this person realized, Libra, that they probably, they realized that they have let go one of their greatest love. And it was you, Five of Cups, okay? Uh, this is someone that you really gave your all, okay? You chase them. Regardless of the circumstances between the two of you, you were acceptance, flexible. You chase them. You give them many, many chance. The full moon in Aquarius hit them big time. They were very sad that they hurt you. And... They're very hopeless, but then they realize that you are their greatest love. You're the greatest love, greatest love story, okay? The greatest love story. You know, the, the person who really, really, um, the person who made them feel, the, the person who really made them feel real love, real love is you, okay? The Emperor card, their feelings and their love for you. It has ignited that they will, you know, in the past they gave up. But then they realized you are their greatest love. So no one, nobody gives up with their greatest love, the Emperor card. So this person is healing, okay? This person is forgiving. I want to forgive myself. So you can forgive me, Libra. They betrayed you big time, Libra. Um, the full moon in Aquarius has led them to really think about the future. And they cannot see the future without you. They're healing and they're really focusing on forgiving thyself. This person is full of regret, but they're coming into terms that if I will not, for like this person would be focusing into i will forgive myself so i can recover the greatest love of my life and that is you libra so this person um because this is the queen of cups this is the greatest love you know you are their greatest love libra okay this is definitely an ex. This is someone with a third part, third party properly. They didn't choose you. But they realize that you are their greatest love. And nobody gives up on a greatest love. But then they're quite embarrassed, embarrassed or ashamed. So first they will have to put 
the strongest courage to face you. And they will start with forgiving myself so I can get forgiveness to you, Libra. Okay? They really want to be better. Now, there's a ton of swords. It means that full moon, it's a release. So this is what they're doing. Healing and forgiving myself. Three of wands. This is the future. It means that after the full moon comes the new moon. And the new moon will boost their confidence, Libra, to approach you. Your greatest love is going to approach you. Okay? The three of wands is all about the future. And the, um, the month of August, it's quite unique because we start with a full moon. Mid-month, there is a new moon. And full moon again at the end of this month. So it is, I would say, it's like an eclipse, but slightly the way I see the vibe. So three of wands, prepare, okay? It could be after the new moon or before the new moon. This person will pivot. Six of wands, look at that. Look at this person. Right now, this person is looking out on your social media, looking out for they're watching. They're watching, they're practicing. They're very, very committed to forgive themselves, to be better. You know, for some of you, this person is going to the gym. This person is going to places where they can see you. This person is asking around you. They're a little bit stalker-ish, but excited, okay? The more they have worked out to forgive themselves, the more they have courage that you could forgive them. So there is a lot of practice, you know. This person is doing a lot of practice. They're committed to practice because this is a big, this is a big one. This is what they need to face head on to you, the Three of Swords. So they're very committed to spend time and to pursue you and persuade you. And they're very gentle. Um, they've got all the time, all the money, all the freedom, all the stability. And you know what? This person, they have already worked on clearing their schedule. Like something tells me this person, they have already cleared their aura, okay? They have already cleared their mind. Like this person, Emperor Vibe, King of Pentacles, you know, they work this. You know, they keep working, working, working until the Three of Swords is gone. And they can show you the King of Pentacles. To be honest with you, the inner work, okay? The inner work that this person has to do, it's a lot. The things that they need to do, the things that they need to adjust, the things that they need to help, the, like the things that they they hate themselves for hurting you. But the things that took place or happened to them as a karma, it's a lot. Yeah. They know that they wouldn't get you straight forward. Four of Cups, that's given. Seven of Wands, you know, Seven of Wands, look at that. They won't get your forgiveness in a straightforward manner they know that but they're willing to try and try and try and try um i feel like this person if you won't forgive them they'll come back the next month and the next month and the next month until you see them in fact this person is willing to reject me reject me reject me until you accept me this they're free this person is free you're nine you can reject me and reject me and reject me eight of swords two of pentacles until you they will never be able to move on because you're the greatest love this is a reading where they will they will never be able to walk here on earth happy without you, High Priestess. Look at that. So sad. Um, I think if they keep pursuing you, they you, you will give them a chance.